Complaints about the Center for COVID Control are piling up. In fact, last week we first told you the Arizona Attorney General is looking into the nationwide COVID testing operation that had several locations right here in the Valley, Olivia. And now we know a new lawsuit has been filed by the Attorney General in Washington accusing the Center for COVID Control and its independent lab called Doctors Clinical Laboratory of contributing to the spread of the virus. So 3 News said Susan Campbell is standing by now with more on this. Susan. Good morning. This new lawsuit claims tests were some tests were stored in garbage bags and some were never actually tested. It also claims the company improperly collected personal information and even billed the federal government for tests that should have been covered by insurance companies. Shyla Newson showed up at the Center for COVID Control in Glendale hoping to take a COVID test. I need to get COVID testing done right away just so I can go back to work to provide for my family. But when she arrived, she was surprised to find the door here locked. I just Googled COVID rapid testings and then you go online and you just go from there. I was kind of confused about the website itself because it was saying that it, they were closed, but until January 21st, so I figured, you know, it's to February, you know, so I figured it would be okay, but no. I guess they're not open. This location, like four others in Arizona and hundreds across the country, has been closed for weeks, facing a mountain of complaints. The majority of complaints allege they did not get the results back from their test or they paid for an additional fee to get it expedited, only not to get it in a timely manner. The FBI searched the company's Illinois headquarters. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services tells Three on Your Side it's also investigating. The agency's Dr. Lee Fleischer says CMS is actively investigating numerous complaints about multiple laboratories and testing sites associated with the Center for COVID Control, adding, we know that people want to feel confident that the testing sites they visit are reputable and the results they receive are accurate. There's more. As we reported last week, the Arizona Attorney General's office says they're looking into the company now a new lawsuit this one filed by the attorney general in washington claiming the center for covid control and doctors clinical laboratory contributed to the spread of the deadly covid 19 virus the lawsuit also claims employees were instructed to mark some patients as uninsured even if they had insurance According to the lawsuit, Doctors Clinical Laboratory has billed the federal government over $124 million for COVID-19 tests provided to allegedly uninsured patients across the nation. Now I have to go somewhere else and wait longer to get in, and then it puts a hold on a lot of stuff. Remember, the Arizona Department of Health Services doesn't have authority to license testing facilities here in the state. A spokesperson for ADHS tells me the company reached out to the state to set up reporting, but the agency has not received testing results from the Center for COVID Control. As for its investigation, CMS said it could take enforcement actions, but didn't give any specifics, saying the Center for COVID Control voluntarily shut down indefinitely. Guys, our phone calls and emails to the company have not been returned.